Welcome to Tree and Shrub Takeoff using eTakeoff Advanced. We'll use two different tools, one for shrubs and one for tree takeoffs. Let's take a look at the Tree Takeoff tool. Start the measurement by double-clicking Tree Count. Enter the genus and species or the common name as you prefer. Check or uncheck the counting method checkbox. Checked is one click equals one tree. Unchecked allows you to click once and enter a total quantity. Choosing the container type reveals drop-down boxes for choosing container size or style. Lastly, enter a location for the measurement if you choose. We'll start a tree takeoff of tree symbol PAT that is showing a count of three in this location on the plan. Locate the genus and species for this particular tree in the plant schedule. Double left click tree count and enter the tree identification. Uncheck the count method checkbox and enter the quantity of three. Choose bald and burlapped from the container type and choose the two and a half inch caliper trunk size from the drop down box. Enter the location for this group of trees. And now, to make things easier for later in the takeoff, we create a favorite of this tree count item that we can reuse for later takeoffs of this tree symbol. Modifying the favorite name makes it easy to choose later. Next, we'll do a takeoff of a shrub type. The procedures are almost identical to the tree takeoff, but with fewer container type choices. Enter the shrub ID. Change the count method to one click and enter a quantity. Choose the container type and the size and enter the location. And again, we make a project favorite to reuse later. The next process in this sample takeoff is to perform a single tree takeoff and make a favorite of it. Following the same procedures as before, except for the count method, we perform a single tree takeoff. and we make a favorite of it. I have created some favorites of items found in this particular landscape planting plan. We'll use one of them to perform an additional takeoff. You'll notice by double clicking the favorite, it populates a copy of the favorite and all I have to do is change the quantity and the location. Again, using the single PAT tree favorite, I can do yet another single or multiple click multiple count takeoff. And if I want, I can change the count method and change the resulting count. Using the existing shrub favorite, we perform two more takeoffs, changing only the count. And because the location is on the same side of the project, we do not change that. It does not get any easier than this.
The next step is to organize the measurement list. First, we sort by type. And then we subsort by genus species. Then the next step is to load the Excel transfer configuration. Normally, I use multiple screens to make Excel transfers. In this case, using one screen, I select the shrub count items and drag and drop them to the proper Excel workbook location. And then I do the same with the trees. Does this look like a set of tools that would be of use to you? Contact me to get a set for yourself.